Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that you guys have requested. A lot of you were saying that you wanted to see some different videos. So I put the question out there, what kind of videos um, would you like to see? And there were so many great examples. One of them was um, beauty and uh, who doesn't love that? Makeup, hair, all of that, that is something that I love and I really haven't dabbled into it because I'm not trained, I'm not a professional by any means. Um, I did my hair straight today so I can show you uh, some new products that I've been loving. Uh, it was a total whim, I'm not sponsored. This is just me showing you some products that I bought with my own money that I absolutely am loving. So if this is the kind of video that you wanna see, then just keep watching. Okay, so yes, things that I purchased with my own money. How many times, because this happens to me a lot, I'm scrolling through Facebook, and I come across a company called Launch. They have the most beautiful salespeople and they're just sitting at home doing their hair, talking about the products. And for like about a year now, I've just been scrolling, you know, watching and just always wanting to try it, but afraid because um, I don't know, I'm like so comfortable with the stuff I use. And my hair texture, believe it or not, is very curly, very thick. Uh, it's highlighted, as you can see, the roots are coming in. So I have, normally I have dry hair, but adding bleach and highlights will make it even drier. So I'm always looking for moisture products. And one of the things that I, I guess because my hair is on the darker side, I struggle with keeping the blonde blonde. Uh, as you can see, it oxidizes quite a bit at the top when it's time to do the roots. I mean, we're at like five weeks now, so we're getting close. Um, you can see I have some good hair growth, but I do um, use a purple shampoo and the purple shampoo, even though it's really good product, it does make it dry. And then I use heat tools and I'm gonna show you everything. I'm gonna show you all my heating tools that I use all the things that I use to do my hair, but I want to show you the products that I've just, I bought from Lange, again, my own money, and I just love them. Before I even put product in, there's two tools that I use, and my most favorite one is this vented wet brush. There it is. This thing is amazing. Okay, clearly you know I like pink and purple. Um, it wasn't planned that it matches my sweatshirt. <laughs> so. Because it's vented, it allows air through it. If you're using this with a blow dryer, I don't. I just use this to comb through tangles. Uh, the bristles here, if you're unfamiliar with a wet brush, they're very, very flexible, so it won't pull and rip your hair. It works amazing. It goes right through the hair. You see that? I swear this is what helps keep my hair from breaking. It's this wet brush. It's amazing. And I keep this with me in my pocketbook, truthfully. So when I go out, if I have to brush my hair, I just use that. So I wanted to do the shampoo and conditioner, but I didn't this time. But I did dive into a hair mask because the hair masks are just saturated with the vitamins and things that you need to keep your hair moist, right? To give it the moisture back into the hair, so they say. Well, I dove into this product called um, Barragio, okay? This mask blew my socks off, blew my socks off because what I did was I used the purple shampoo, no conditioner, which made my hair, as always, purple shampoo. Um, I used the Fanola, no yellow shampoo. It is super drying, like it makes your hair very dry you have to use a really, really good conditioner. And I normally do, however, this, I mean, look at the shine and look at the softness. Okay, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And I have to say, I'm very big on the smell. Oh, the smell of this is so good. You can see already how much I've used. I've used it a couple times. And when I tell you, I like really get in there and get like a nice size in my hand. I, it rec it's recommended to use this about two to three minutes in your hair. So I wash my hair, I stick this in it, and then 
I shave, I exfoliate, I do everything I need to do. So this sat in my hair probably about five minutes and I'm blown away. Here's a close up. It's got like a lot of good um, vitamins and stuff in it and I just love it. So this would be a recommendation for sure. So when I get out of the shower, my hair is wet and I towel dry it. The first thing I put in since purchasing these products uh, is there's a girl on there, I cannot recall her name, but she kind of has hair like me and she recommended this um, and said that, you know the product, it's a 10. That's a great product, but it eventually gets very drying. Like it makes my hair feel dry. So they recommended a product called Sorbet. This stuff is so good. I was honestly surprised at how small the packages were, you know, like the, the sizes. I thought this would be like a bigger bottle, but it's not. But guys, a little goes a long way. I've been using this now for, is it like two weeks, I think? And like, I hardly tapped into it. You really only need maybe the size of a nickel in your hand. Uh, this product is a botanical smoothing balm. So this is the first thing I put in my hair. It's like, um, basically what it does is it shields your hair, it nourishes it clearly, but it makes it smooth and it keeps frizz away. Like if you go outside in the humidity, now it's winter here, so I don't even know, but they say if it's humid outside, this will keep your hair protected from frizzing up, which mine will do in the summertime. So I'm curious to see how it works, um, but this is a really good product and I've been really enjoying it. The next product that I got is called um, Satin Nectar Nourishing Gloss. This is super, super strong. I used to, as a kid, have very thick hair right now. I mean, I have a lot of hair, but I would say the, the texture of it is on the thinner side. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna use this. This, I think you're supposed to use it like after you're done styling and you, you know, put a little bit in your hand and you smooth out a little bit of the top. I don't really have a lot of frizz on the top of my hair and I swear it's because of that. But if you do, they say that this is a really um, good product. This is again, Satin Nectar Nourishing Gloss. Um, what you could do, I think, and I think I've seen it, is actually mix these two together. I haven't done that, but um, I have used, so I put this in and I've used, I mean, not even the size of a watermelon seed, like teeny tiny, and um, rub it in my hands and from like here down, have applied it when it's wet after that. And I don't know if I noticed that much of a difference, but I wanna tell you the first day I got this stuff, you guys would have died. I put like, I put it in my hand and I had what looked like Crisco. Oh, there's a cardinal in my tree, sorry. <laughs> but I had in my hair what looked like somebody dumped like Crisco in my hair. It was so gross. So be wary of this if you get it. If you have really thick, coarse, dry hair, obviously this would benefit you, I think a little bit more than me, but it's not bad. This is another product that I actually enjoy. Now, for years I've been using um, All Soft, it's called, it's an argon oil, very light, doesn't weigh your hair down. I love it and I'm almost out of it. So I decided to go with this, it's called Remedy, it's argon oil, uh, I love this. But again, just like this product, you gotta use this, I mean, in the most sparing way. It's super, super strong. And if you have, you know, thinner hair, not thin hair, but like the texture is on the thin side, uh, this would definitely do like weigh your hair down, make it oily. If you have thicker, coarser hair, this would be probably more beneficial to you. So while I love these two products, I feel like for my hair, they might not be the best solution or it could just be that I use too much. I have a tendency to be heavy on all of that. The two things that I would recommend the most for sure are these two things, the hair mask called Baraggio and the Sorbet Botanical Smoothing.
bomb. All right, so that's that. When I get out of the shower, towel dry my hair, put in my products, um, the first thing I do is go for the blow dryer. I never blow dry my hair with a brush. I never do this. I feel like my hair will break. I feel like, you know, I don't need the tugging motion. Um, so I have always invested in a really good blow dryer. One that I don't have to struggle with. I mean, in my younger days, totally went to the drugstore, bought the Con Air, whatever. Never got, um, never got like that blow behind it. It was just like a very subtle blow dry. So as I've gotten older and have been taking care of my hair since I spend a ton of money on it to color it all the time, <laughs> because I'm going gray, I have probably within the last 10 years have purchased this brand of blow dryer uh, a couple times because after a couple years they go. But it's by Elkham. This is what it looks like. I got this at Ulta. You can buy it online. It is the Elkham 3900 and it's called Healthy Ionic. And guys, this blow dryer is like the Rolls Royce of blow dryers in my opinion and I'm gonna tell you why. This blow dryer blows not really hot heat. It blows hot, but not like your drugstore brand kind. And it has such force behind it that the force behind it is drying your hair and the heat, although not super hot, it won't cook your hair. Uh, I also love this because it has obviously the power on and off, but it has speeds. You can make it slower, faster, warmer, colder. There is a cold shot here uh, and it has this nice little grip thing. So when you're doing it, it doesn't slip out of your hand. It is a little on the heavy side. I wouldn't say heavy, but heavier than your typical Conair blow dryer. Uh, but it's it's like nice and sturdy. You know, it's like you get what you pay for. It's an expensive blow dryer, but it works great. You can take this off and clean your filter if you need to. Uh, doesn't look like I need to right now. That's the fan inside that you see. Uh, occasionally this does get a little bit of buildup that I just wipe off. Well, yeah, there is a little bit left See here. Okay, nice and clean. And you can wash this if you need to, and then it just goes right back on. So you have the capability of cleaning that, which is really important. And that's why a lot of drugstore um, blow dryers die out because this fan inside sometimes gets a lot of lint or whatnot in there and you ha you don't have the capability to open it up and clean it. So I love that. Anyway, this is my choice in blow dryers. So if you have an opportunity to buy one of these, I would say go for it. I think it far surpasses the Dyson, even though it's like everyone says that the Dyson is the best. Nope. This one, in my opinion, is. All right, so what I do when I blow dry my hair is I literally just do this. I hold it and I finger it just like that. That's how I blow dry my hair till it's all dry. And, and my hair isn't smooth like this when it's done. It's a little bit, not frizzy, but there's like fluff to it. So if I decide to do my beach waves, all right, so when I'm sectioning my hair out to do those beach waves, one of the things that I love to use are clips. These type of clips, these are also by Wet Brush. You see that? They come in different colors. I have pink and blue. Um, I only took three out of my room, but <laughs> clearly I probably have about 20 of them. But they're really good. They're thick. They're sturdy. They don't slip out of your hair. Like you could literally just like go like that and your hair stays. Uh, one of the things that you do have to be careful with, I've noticed is when I do use these, before I style it, like I'll do this, I usually do my makeup first, so I will clip back my hair so I could do my makeup. This does leave a little bit of a dent in your hair, so you have to be careful when I curl my hair, you don't notice it. I'm trying, you don't really notice it now either luckily but sometimes you do get that like crimp so be careful with these but they're these i swear they're the best i've had these for years you can get them on amazon i think i bought these at Harmon, but they're really sturdy really really stick good in your hair they don't slip out they're really good can i say really good anymore 
All right, another thing that I use, and I've done little hair tutorials with this, uh, is my favorite curling iron. I have a T3, which I love, but to be honest, my most favorite one is this. This is the Babyliss one inch curling iron. It has a really good, strong grip, really good. You, When you put this in your hair, you can slide it through a little bit, but you, it's got really good grip. And the reason I like this is, now this is gonna sound nutty, but it goes up over 400 degrees. I personally love, oh, this came off. I personally love, there we go. I personally love the fact that even though it says it's over 400, for some reason, I don't know whether it's the coating they put on here or what, it doesn't burn my hair. I don't get breakage when I use this. I get breakage when I use my T3, which is really strange because that curling iron was a fortune. This is not. You can buy this on Amazon. I've seen it at like um, Harman and I've seen it at CVS, Target. They all sell it. Um, trying to see if there's a number on it. I don't think there is. Uh, it's called Babyliss Pro. You see the little etching in there? It's great, again, one inch. This is what I do my beach waves with and I love it. So on a day like today, I straightened my hair, felt like doing something a little bit different. And you know, again, there's a T3 flat iron out there. There's so many different kinds. The one that I used to have years ago, they don't make it anymore. I used to fill it with water and it was vented and you would put it through and the steam is what actually used to straighten my hair. My hair was never so shiny and no damage, but they don't make it anymore. And it was this nice wide plate. So I then years ago was on the hunt. Um, I've had this particular straightener for, I mean, I don't use it that often. So clearly it's going to stay longer, but I've had this longer than five years and I know they still sell it. Uh, I got it at Harman. Again, you can use your Bed Bath & Beyond coupons. You can get 20% off of this. Uh, it's by Global Beauty. There it is. Um, small plates, but I feel like it doesn't ever pull. So when I straighten my hair, I literally just, I go like this. And there it is. I mean, it's that simple. This straightener is great. Uh, it only has an on off switch. You can't temperature, you know, regulate it. It does it on its own. It's one setting, which sometimes people don't like. I don't mind it because again, I don't use it that often. I really use this more so. You guys know my hair is always on the wavy side. But every now and then you want some straight hair, I would recommend this one. This is a good one. So I think that's it. I mean, this is just me dabbling into something different. Just showing you what I use in my hair um, in the shower and what I use when I get out of the shower. Uh, I would be happy to show you like from wet to dry how I do my hair. Um, but you guys have to let me know if that's something you wanna see. Um, but like I said, the products that I showed you today purchased all with my own money and um, I'm happy, I'm grateful that I was able to share that with you. So if you liked today's video, even though I know it was a little bit like, uh, I gotta get used to doing some of these instead of, um, you know, always doing the same type of videos. I wanna branch out a little bit. So maybe like once a week I'll pop in a lifestyle, maybe me beauty, something. Uh, a lot of you said that you wanna see clothing hauls again. Um, I used to do them. I used to love to do that. I think once in a while a video like this is fun because on the side, I do get questions. How do you do your hair? What products do you use? And I try to answer it, but I think this is just a little fun addition to the channel. So. Thumbs up if you like it, leave a comment, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day, you guys. Love you, bye.